Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to shut down your computer. I'm going to do it by just holding down the power button for about 7 seconds. And it should just power off. Now, wait a few seconds, turn it back on. And we'll get this. Once the loading symbol starts showing, like... Now, you turn it back off. And you keep doing this until... Instead of the loading symbol, it says automatic repair or something like that. So it's it usually takes about three times. Off. Yeah, this is what you want to see. So basically why this works is because if you're not logged into the computer then the admins can't block anything so all right so it should take you to like a blue screen So you're going to say advanced options, sorry, advanced options, then you want to go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and unless it doesn't show up here, you're going to get system image repair. So it might, might show up on this screen, but yep. then you're going to say cancel, next, advanced. Install the driver. Okay. Now, so what you're gonna gonna look for System Thirty Two here, and this is the the boot version of System Thirty Two. It's actually in this Windows, and you'll see. Go to Windows here, and scroll down. You're gonna wanna you wanna mouse for this to System Thirty Two. But now you're gonna scroll down to. U, the letter U, it's in alphabetical order. Here. And the file name you're looking for is utilman. Right here. So I'm gonna right click, rename to CM, sorry, anything other than utilman. So I usually just put an A at the end. Now it doesn't show up automatically, so you're gonna wanna refresh. Now I've got a C. And we're going to look for CMD, which is command prompt. I went past it. And it looks like a little black square, I believe. Where is it? So it looks like this, but CMD. Here we go. So you're going to rename this to Util Man with a capital U. It doesn't show up, so you're going to refresh. And that should be done. So you press cancel. 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 Now continue. And it's going to restart your computer. Occasionally, it just... Um, occasionally, it just, like, goes to a blue screen that your computer's just crashed. But... If you get that, you just press restart, and now we'll just wait for it to load up automatically. So, yes, I'm not a technology prodigy, but from my understanding, I think Utilman is the is like the file name for ease of access, which I'll show you. And by renaming it to CMD, you get command prompt instead of the ease of access. So basically, I'm gonna wait for it to load up. Take a little bit longer than usual. Alright, so this is Windows 10. And so you're just logged in as yourself, you don't have another user. I'm gonna go to Ease of Access.
click that and command prompt should show up. So what you want to do is net user and this shows the users on the computer and you'll see this one here is the admin account. It will say this utility account below it. This is not for everybody. This is what your administrator's name is. So it'll be different for you. So you see that and then you can go net user and then the name. Yeah, and now you can go net user BGS ADM and then an asterisk and then it'll say type password for the user. So this has the same password requirements for all passwords, so it's going to have a capital and a character. So what I usually use is QWERTY123 with a capital Q. It won't show up here because, yeah, do it again. And the command has completed six, six, four. So you're just going to do exit. And now you can just log in as usual. But now you have the admin username and password. So there's still one more step. So let me just wait for login. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to go to about my PC. And where is it? Or it could not. You go to settings instead. And then you go to system. Wow. Go to about. Now, this is what you want to see device name. So, this is different for every computer, obviously. But you only want to remember, memorize that. So, you can just press control C. Sorry, control C. Now, now this is this is where it comes in. So you're gonna want to. The reason that you want to get admin is because you want to download something off the internet, and every time you do, it says you need admin username and password. Oh wow, what just happened? All right, so you want to download something off the internet, say. So, mouse software so, yeah. okay so when you get here you're just gonna download whatever you want and download we'll wait for it to start up and then it'll come up with you want to make changes to this device username and password so you're gonna open it it'll do whatever it can, which is, yeah, now I'll get to this screen, which my camera cannot handle, oh, it's fine, okay, so you remember the PC name, which is for me this, like this, and you want to put backslash, and then the name of the, of the administrator, then you're going to put the password that you created, which for me is qwerty123, yep, and now it should work. And just for proof that this does work, I'll do the other version, and I'll show you that you can't just do it with, say, your own username and password, or just none. So, see, now this is working. We'll wait for this to download and try again. So yep, yeah, doing the same thing. Alright, and now it's gonna ask for your username and password. So which is this? Which is just like that. And the reason that this doesn't work is because the domain is still the school. So when you did when you did it with the computer name, it logs only into this computer, so it's specialized. And so if I do my password, it'll just say 
requires elevation, which means it needs high access. But now this is working, which is also good. And now sometimes if you want to download something, then it will, like, for example, um, my, com my computer, the administration has, well, for task manager, you can just use your own password. But for my administration has put Sophos endpoint on, which is an antivirus, and it basically blocks, like, everything. Oh, can you move? Anyway, so, and for Sophos endpoint, you can't just disable it. Where is it? It's up here. So you can't just, like, end task. Let's see, still goes. So, what you can do is Windows L, and what you can do is sign into the admin account. This isn't just like, see, as I put the admin account changes the domain. This isn't like the actual admin account, it's just specialized for your computer. So I do my password, qwerty123. There we go. And so now it's gonna like, reset all the all the backgrounds and stuff but basically what i've figured out is if you're logged into the the admin account and then you switch back to your other account it tends to give you all the admin permissions so you can basically do everything so let's do this switch user see it's reset now I go back into my account. Here we go. And now it doesn't change anything, but it will give you like admin permissions. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give. like and subscribe i don't care about the notification bell just like and subscribe and thank you for watching